told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away Hi, Alan SoCal. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick uh, view of this uh, water blaster that I got in about a month ago. I've been holding on to it because really to show it I considered just submitting a photo, but if it were me I'd want to see it operate and I'd want to know a little more about it. First of all, in my opinion overall, uh, this reminds me of a toy item I would submit to my marketing department uh, and this would be the prototype. It really is sort of a prototype item. Let's start with, uh, with the battery which is uh, an interesting battery pack. You get two of these. Uh, these little battery packs with the uh, couplers and so forth but you got to take this off, then use a proprietary charger and uh, hook it up to that little charger and plug it in and wait until it charges. Sort of a pain. Um, and then the other issue is that the door that covers the battery area, and, and then by the way, you've got to tuck these wires in uh, and, and make sure the battery pack uh, you know, is out of the way. There's a plastic cover that goes here, but they give you a very small Phillips head screwdriver, a little mini driver, and there's one screw after you got the cover back in place, screw it in and you're good to go. Well, the cover is on, but it's really not convenient to take off, put back on. You got to screwdriver it in and out. Uh, the water reservoir is Oh, I forgot. There is a little slide switch here. Pull it back and the water reservoir comes off. So you have that. And you simply fill the water right there. Oh, excuse me. You fill the water here <laughs> where that white cap is. And uh, the plug, by the way, yeah, it, you push it in. There's your water supply. Um, it's not a perfect fit because even this water reservoir, it's made up of two halves that come together and of course they're not machined perfect here so it's okay. Uh, and of course again the water feed is from here and um, well you can more or less you can look and see the um, you know what it looks like uh, in that little opening area there which takes this magazine so to speak. So I simply go like that, push it up, lock and load and uh, and then the trigger is right here okay and um, now for you to get an idea of just what's happening with the water I'm gonna put the camera behind me so you can be behind me and watch me pulling the trigger. Okay, so here we are, and I am going to uh, let you get an angle view of this little item in, in operation. I'm going to pull the trigger, you'll hear it, and you'll hear the pump pumping out the water. You should be able to see it in front of the, uh, the uh, toy here. So as you can see, the water is going out about uh, 10 feet, you know. I just wasn't too impressed. I thought, uh, I thought they'd be more to it. I sort of think it's okay as far as the water flow, but the build on this little toy item, oh, and this pulls out a bit so you can extend the uh, shoulder rest. I just didn't think it was that well built. Um, I would think that uh, there's a higher quality uh, system, a higher quality water blaster type product where the water shoots further, a more defined uh, flow. 
uh, but more importantly, just a better build, maybe rechargeable batteries. I, again, I, I just sort of felt like this was a prototype. 